what? It's way too nice and way too early to be spending all this time indoors riding my bike in here. When I've got a very excited dog who absolutely loves to go hiking in the snow. I don't have to be so serious during the day. <laughs> the boots are a bit of an ordeal. <laughs> Worth it. I say taking advantage of freshly fallen fluffy snow in the warmth of a midday winter sun is a much better use of time than spending it in here riding my bike on rollers and dealing with the thing that I do now need to deal with. Especially because the minute it gets dark again, everything freezes. If it's not already obvious, I'm not done with everything in here. So it's small, small baby steps, getting it to exactly where I want it to be. Admittedly, my design process for in here is far from the most efficient way of doing things, but I really don't know how I want everything to lay out until everything I need is in it and everything I don't is gone. And herein lies one massive problem that I have with myself. I tend to hold on to way too much. This mess of totes under this bench, this is kind of a embarrassing reminder of that fact. <laughs> An old signed Alexis on Fire t-shirt. The first dry bag I ever tried to make for a seat post bag. I rode across Nova Scotia at night with this on. And this in it, with my tent. This should come with a disclaimer, building your own fun, not cheaper than just going out and buying one that was built by a professional. Another tiny dry bag, an old heart rate monitor for a watch that I don't own. Countless 26 inch mountain bike tubes. Mac hub, Soma hub. All said and done, down from five to two. I think that I could probably do more, but my appetite for throwing things away is just so small that, like I said, it needs to be in baby steps. For under here, I'm thinking that the best course of action is to get something either built or if I'm lucky, something that measures the right size to fit as a cabinet and like drawers and everything to, to organize everything I don't want out and about and isn't needed to be accessible so quickly. But my next and last bit of work before I think those cabinets need to be built and then I can throw up more stuff is just to get rid of that thing there. Not the, not the bike, the shelving, all this shelving behind it. And that wall is a very important part of videos I want to do in the future and it's in the way.
Remember, remember when I flew with this to Toronto without a bike box? That's the tape residue from the, the sticker that the girl at security had put on here is. Still haven't gotten it off yet. <laughs> now there is a small amount of old guy stuff that is still on this shelf that I've got to throw out. This weird murder tool looks like one thing. And the blade to a lawnmower that I don't own. This, for those of you who are not into cars, more specifically not into Volkswagens, is a G60 valve cover. This came on the supercharged four cylinder that they made from way back in the 90s. Uh, it was in the Corrado that I've showed you before that I owned. Um, I don't want to get rid of this, but I don't know what to do with it. Hence my really bad habit of keeping things around. I don't want to keep this. made of slightly tougher wood than I thought it would be. I guess I'll just take it apart. I guess I kind of built some pretty terrifying beds of nails. Ultimately, this is sort of the shot that I'm after. Nice, clean background without a lot of stuff going on. So getting the rest of this over there. Uh, likely, there will be a couch put here. Angela's been on the hunt for a new couch for the basement, which means she's gonna wanna get rid of the couches that are down there, which means I have a spot for at least one of them. Really what I want to do with this view is just shoot a video that's a little bit less vloggy. I have some ideas for videos that I want to make that are just going to involve sitting here and kind of talking at the camera. And that's what this will be. You'll probably enjoy the video I make and then call me out on it being sort of similar to another channels if you watch it. Don't worry about that. So all that's left is put in some flooring Finish up the trim around the windows and the door, insulate the door, put in a couch, throw the logo on the wall, paint the trusses, finish putting the caulking everywhere so the insulation has no cracks that any heat can be lost or cold could come in through, continue vlogging, go to work every day, and ride my bike. Easy list. Ultimately, right now, the goal is to create a space that like someone, like my dog, would actually want to come into and not be scared of anything that could fall on him. Because right now, he won't even come in here without me forcing him to. Can I consider any of this progress? Yes.